Hey what is up guys it is Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video everyone and today I'm going to be bringing all of you episode 19 of the life walkthrough. So looking at my boy Dustin Lifeheart here you'll immediately notice some different things about him. His stats should honestly look slightly different most notably the power pips which I have gotten up quite a bit over the uh, the past couple days with my uh, my new gear so as you can see it is all stitched to the elegant stuff besides the boots I think because uh there's not actually elegant boots for life this is like the closest thing that I could get that like came to them yeah I got them in the bazaar anyways the stitch though is looking pretty hot so for the hat I'm rocking the senator hat which is new same robe as always which is the vestment of Zeus's Aegis and then Melinda's spirit sandals which I actually found in my bank which Proved to be some really, really good boots, as you can see those stats there are incredible. Sky Iron Hosta, and then Hard Steel, uh, blah blah blah, random ring, random thing, or random amulet, and then Romeo, and that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So yeah, I uh, got a little bit of a new stitch on my guy. He looks a lot cleaner now. Also rocking the Cloud Strider Pegasus. But today we're gonna be continuing our adventures in Mushu. So without further ado, let us talk to this guy. I don't know what we're doing. I think like, I think we're supposed to persuade him to like become the guardian of some temple. Anyway, let's get started with that. No sword? This right and honorable man should have a sword to defend his family. We'll fix that. I guess we will. I'll look for a sword here, but I know someone who's bound to have a good sword. That rogue, Kyoto, stole weapons from the blacksmith. Huh. Defeat Kyoto, and we are certain to find a good sword for this honorable villager. Gotta defeat Kyoto, okay. I will see you guys at the boss then. Alright, going to fight my boy Kyoto here, and then uh, collecting some sort of sword. These spirits will help me vanquish you from this land. Or wait, are we collecting the sword from her? Whatever, dude. My memory, you know, I swear to god, I have like really bad short-term memory problems. I, I really, really do. But it's okay. It's okay. Really, we just need to focus on the here and now. And I think that's the most important thing we can do. So, uh, let's just blade up here a bit. And then faint him. That should be enough. Rocking, like, a clean 60 damage on the life. So, really don't need too many buffs to kill these bosses. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I have been doing a lot of farming in between episodes. Uh, if you want to know where my stitch is from, the life hat here, the life elegant hat, I got from Yukai in the Tree of Life. So I just farmed for that on my fire, and then the elegant robe I've been rocking for a few episodes now, that's from the Jade Oni. And then these boots I just got from the bazaar, like, they were the only pair in there, but uh, they look awesome. Really go with my stitch quite well. Okay, so I've got, okay, I could blade up again, but like, that'd be no fun, we should risk it. <laughs> Another thing that I want to work up to in the near future is having 100% accuracy on my life, though. Because it's not fun, just kind of fizzling all the time. I really do not enjoy it, <laughs> so I'm gonna need to find like a, a decent balance for the future, but for now, you know, we'll uh, just rock what we rock and it'll be okay. Yep, see, that <laughs> that's the problem, man. That is the problem. <sighs> okay, well, great. Now I have an extra TC rat spin. Let's try that again, huh? Oh, you better not. Don't you dare. All right. Really kicking this episode off with a tower shield. That's, uh... Alright, don't really like that. I'm not gonna lie. That's, uh... <laughs> that doesn't really do it for me, Kayu... Kayoto? What, is that your name? I don't even remember. Kayuto, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is not gonna do much. That's awesome. We'd love to see it. Goodbye. Alright, we got rid of the Blade Master, at least. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh, we could do that. See, like, this is what's so good about having that 45% power pip at such a low level, is it just enables you to cast a lot of spells in quick succession. It's actually really, really underrated. For low for low levels, dude, it's just so necessary. Get him. Throw your little nut. There we go. Goodbye, man. It's been fun. You find no weapons here. Okay, so we were looking for, okay, some sort of weapon. Gold minor opal. Isn't that the thing that, like, boosts your gold by 10% or something? That's an interesting jewel. Alright, so, being the smarty pants that I am, I did leave a mark. That teleporter doesn't take you any farther, but... No weapons? A shame, as I could only find this rusty sword around here. A man defending his family shouldn't have to use a rusty sword. Hmm. Listen, here's what we'll do. I'm a trained fighter, so I can make do with the rusty one. Take my good sword and give it to the good villager. 
Oh, that's so sweet, man. That is, uh, that's, that's very honorable of you to do. I suppose that is the samurai way, after all. Okay. So back to this guy. He's just right down here. You know what would be great is if we could get, like, this whole plague area done. That'd be kind of nice. And then just fight the plague oni and be done with it. Another thing that I gotta farm for in the future is definitely that plague oni wand that he drops. That, like, blue sword. It's very cool. It would be cool on, like, an ice or a myth or something. Sashu Nedekai seems thoughtful and generous. I think he's more than proven himself to be the perfect shrine guardian. See if you can convince him now. Oh, now we go back and convince him. Okay. That's fine. So, <laughs> I guess we just kind of got to bait his uh, his good morals then. Throw him right back at him. I guess that's, uh, that's kind of smart when you think about it. All right, those are the diseased villagers. Yeah, let's get a... Don't want to get, like, I don't know, leukemia or something from these guys. Just gonna meander on past. All right, man, now will you guard the shrine? Like, come on. Those were tests? I guess I never thought of myself as a monk before. <laughs> but if, as you say, this task is truly important to his imperial majesty, then I'm ready to do it. Yay! All right, let's get to it. You say you have the Jade Scepter? Okay. I just hope everything goes as planned. I'll meet you at the Shrine of the Spirit. Okay, Shrine of... Oh, it's right over here. Okay, cool. Oh, shoot. Another thing that I gotta do is... Yeah, I don't actually have Spirit Blade, which is a level 25 spell that I should have really packed or really trained by now, dude. I really should have. Oh, by the way, another thing about my Stitch. Uh, that one, you probably recognize it. A lot of Life's Rocket. Most notably, the famous Blaze Life Hammer. But uh, it's from... Um... It's from whatever boss is in the secure house in the Drake Hatchery, but yeah. Use the Jade Scepter on the shrine and I'll try channeling the spirits. Here goes! Don't exactly remember her name, but... One of those Dragon Spire mobs, dude, I don't know. Hey, it worked. Let's go. Wow, what a rush! I could feel those spirits swirling all around. Tula Kuo was very wise to think of me as a shrine guardian. Please give him my thanks and tell him the shrine is pure again. Hey, there we go. Okay, so he is a proper guardian after all. Wow, that is quite heartwarming. Quite heartwarming indeed. Alright. Oh, wait, this teleporter should put me right by him, huh? Hey, look at that. Using the landmarks. Using the landmarks. Indeed, this is wonderful news. Isn't it? Go and tell Ooh, Sun nine damage. of Shosun Village of your work here, how you help to purify our shrines and weaken the plague only. In the years to come, our ballad makers will sing of you, the wizard of Wizard City, and tell of your adventures in Mushu. Until then, please accept this humble monk's appreciation. I will accept your appreciation. All right, back to Shoshun Village. Uh, yeah, okay. I will see you guys back at Sun Hing. All right, we are back, and I have Spirit Blade now. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Finally, you restored the Holy Shrines. I was getting worried here. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? So the shrines have been restored, which means the Oni has been weakened. I'd say it's time to Ooh. take down the Plague Oni for good. Yes. Jinho, my superior, is at the Shirataki Temple. He'll tell you what to do. All right, sick. So we actually get to take down the Plague Oni right now. I didn't actually know if we were going to be doing it in this episode. I knew we were going to get close. But yeah, here we go into Shirataki Temple. All right, this is awesome. This is awesome. We're, this means we're making progress. Like, I don't know, dude. I guess I just get a little bit excited every time we're about to do like a final dungeon for an area, I suppose. Because I guess it's like a visual way. Of like seeing you progress, seeing your character progress throughout the game. Anyway, it's cool. It is cool, and I like to see it. Okay, so yeah, we have to defeat Shoji. I remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a mark here. Yeah, because he's back there. And then once we get that key, we should be able to activate that lever. I believe he's a balance boss, so we gotta watch out, definitely. Oh, your tower, Shoji. It's so far. Gosh darn it, man. Oh, that's so awesome, though. I'm so glad we get to do the Plague Oni dungeon today. That's awesome, dude. Alright. Shoji! You seek a way through that gate? Forget your quest, wizard. 
Here you will only feel the sting of a run and blade. That's kind of mean. Let's just take you out right now. Oh, they're both balanced. That's not fun. I swear to God, I never get first in any of these mob battles. I probably just said that without knowing, like, I probably got first in the last one. Anyway, why do you guys even listen to what I say? I do- I will never know. <laughs> I will never know. Oh, I cannot get over this wand, though. It's so cool. It is so cool. Alright, let's get our life blade up. And, yeah, we'll definitely need to faint you. Why do I still have Leprechaun packed in my deck? I should definitely take that out. That's not going to be very useful to us at all anymore. <laughs> Now, what would be cool is if I had that Spellament Leprechaun. Okay, guys, that's a little, uh, that's a little mean. I don't know why you'd want to do that to me. I just need the key, dude. Is that too much to ask? Seriously, though, oh, man. I love getting power pips. It's so satisfying. Uh, especially because we're only in our 30s. Level 30s, I mean. I'm not 30 years old. That would be, huh. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Alright, my resist isn't too bad either, I don't think. I have like, what, 25 across the- Oh my god, dude, that's- <sighs> Alright. Alright, it's fine. You know, I only have 90% accuracy, you know? I shouldn't be- You know, it makes sense as to why I'm fizzling so much. 90%, you know, apparently that's not good enough. Seriously though, I can't wait till we get to higher levels and I just don't have to worry about accuracy anymore. Uh, it's just- It's gonna be a very exciting time. Okay, elemental shield, that is alright. That is alright. Get him, rat. Okay, my goal is just to kill the minion with this one. So I've heard of stories of people, like, critting their spells in, like, worlds like Mushu and, like, Marleybone and stuff. Wait, is it- are they both dead? Oh my god, wait, dude! You have gotten the key from him. I underestimated my power a little bit. Holy... okay. T dang. Let's do that. There we go. I definitely underestimate my life sometimes, dude. This, this guy is actually kind of strong. Oh, man. Okay, so we gotta go disable this gate. And then... is there a teleporter nearby? Okay, yeah, there's one right here. That should take us right to Dinho. Let's go over here, get the little butterfly, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, he's right up here. I always thought, like, this area, like, this specific dungeon of Mushu is definitely one of the coolest. You'll find the plague only in the palace beyond this gate. You must hurry. It is weakened now. I can hear it wailing in distress. <laughs> Yummy. If you succeed, find Sun Hing. May the Muda look after you. Thank you, Dinho. We will now purify the water. The temple ahead of you is where you must go. But first, we must dispatch Haru. He holds the gate key. Defeat Haru and open the temple gate. Will any of these teleporters bring me closer to my boy, Haru? Yep, okay, that one will. Alright, cool. So, uh, oh, he's all the way? Oh, he's all the way over there? Okay. So since I don't want to fill the time to, uh, to talk all the way on the journey there, I'll just see you guys at the boss. Whoa, we're magically teleported over. Amazing. The power of editing. Okay, what's up, man? So, you need a key to get through the gate? You'll never take mine. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I'd beg to differ, man. I'd beg to differ. Why are you guys on opposite? Okay. I guess they, like, really want to emphasize that they're not gay. That's fine. I understand, Haru. Oh, are you serious? Okay, it's just a mantle. Mantles are better. But that doesn't mean I like him, because, yep, mm-hmm, once again, my 90% accuracy fails me. Ah, <sighs> dude, this game sometimes, I swear. Uh, I should pack TC Life Blades. I don't think I have any in right now. This game just really loves to... Uh, just, just fuck me in the ass. I don't know how, I don't know how better to describe it. Okay, so let's do that. And then faint. And then that might be enough to kill. I'm not sure. If not, we will get very close. It's honestly kind of hard to judge with these Mushu bosses. Because they all have like around 1500 health. Alright, let's get that done. I wish I could like somehow get an extra faint. I wonder, I know there's like an extra faint that goes on an amulet, 
It's called like Jewel of the Faint or something. I could really use that. <laughs> I don't know if that's for my level. It might not be, but I might look for it. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, 19. Never mind, dude. We're fine. We're fine. Once you again. The key from Haru. Underestimate my power. Wait, ooh, that's 12% outgoing. Wait. Oh, that's kind of good, actually. That, like, almost makes you want to switch out my heart steel. Damn, okay. <laughs> so, where is this gate? Is it, like, anywhere nearby? It is not. I'm pretty sure it's back to the starting area. Yep. Okay. There we go. And then, we you know, we can't go in. There's, like, a lot of quests in this dungeon. Now, a lot more we need to do. Now, the bringer. This water spirit guards the entrance to the river temple. Use the jade scepter on the four shrines to summon wave bringer. Oh, I will, man. Don't worry. But seriously, take a look at this area here. Like, you got the plague temple in the back, which is just amazing. It's gigantic. And then you got, like, this huge little lake here. With that little island with the tree on it, and oh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love it. Okay, so we've got to go purify each of these shrines, right? That's a lot of mob battles, if I'm not mistaken. So that's not fun. That is definitely not fun. I will see you guys at the fire shrine, though. Ha! Huh, psych! We're going to the earth shrine. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic fool. I will crush you where you stand. Wow, just the little cough. These guys are disgusting. Oh my god. They've all got the Rona, dude. I swear. Alright, so... Oh my god, see, like... Oh, it's so juicy. Starting out the round with two power pips. And just being able to rat spin, like, right off the bat. Oh my god, that is hot. That is so hot. Alright, bud, come on. Come on. Dig it up. Dig it up. You know, when you got a good AoE, battles start to become just very routine. Ooh, I kind of need that, actually. <laughs> That's sad. The accuracy jewels. Man, it's like this game is taunting me. Okay, let's purify that. And then I will see you guys at the air shrine. Huh, psych, we're actually going to the fire shrine. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Just a few moments, you will regret this one. This one? Okay. I regret... Oh, no, 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 no! I couldn't find my enchants in time. That's sad. You're telling me I actually got a blade? Oh! <gasps> I don't. Wait, we're saved. We're saved. I forgot I fizzled that last one. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god. Okay. Okay. It's fine. The battle is saved. The battle is saved, and then I will pack more. And we'll be all good. We'll be all good. Alright, let's get that on, and then... Come on, 45% power pip chance. Do not fail me. Please. Okay, it... it yep. Yeah. I feel like I can't ask for anything in this game. I feel like whenever I ask for something, it just makes the game less inclined to actually give it to me. So maybe I should just shut up. <laughs> maybe that'll be better. What sucks about uh, these battles is you actually have to do them with the other shrine fights that weren't in this dungeon. Like, I didn't have to do them because you could just log out, right? And the goal would be complete. But like, with these, you're in a dungeon, so if you log out, obviously that wouldn't work. And you can't walk around the battles either. Kind of sucks, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. I'm wondering, is that like his actual- it looks like it's like painted on. Like all that green and all those symbols. It looks like it's painted on the rat. So like, my question is, who painted the rat? Like, why is the rat painted? Was he born painted? Because then it wouldn't be paint. These are the questions that, you know, that we gotta ask ourselves sometimes. Okay, anyways, I will see you guys at the air shrine. Sight got you again. We're actually going to the spirit hey, shrine. <laughs> you are not supposed to be in here. Dude, this quest arrow, I swear to God. It always, like, messes up because all these shrines are really, really close together. So I guess it gets confused. And I forgot to... I forgot to pack, uh, okay, you know what, it's fine. We'll leave Storm. We'll leave Storm this round. We'll switch it up a bit. It's alright, dude. Like I said, horrible short-term memory. 
We know this already, okay? It's it's just natural for me at this point. It doesn't matter anymore. At least I'm getting the power pips. Are you serious? Okay, this game has some nerve. This game has some nerve doing that to me. Dude, <laughs> I... Oh my god. I have 90% accuracy. I'm sorry if I'm whining, but like... 90%, like that's... It's not 100, okay? Yes, there is room to fizzle. But it doesn't leave that much room to fizzle. You get me? Okay, like the odds, I swear to god. I have a 10% chance to fizzle, and it's treated like it's like 40%, I swear. Okay, this should kill. Oh, man. Alright, boys. I'm angry now. I'm pulling out my best nut for this one. Here we go. First, I gotta find it, though. It's here somewhere, don't worry. There it is. Yeah! Okay. Okay. I can still do adequate damage without the enchants. The enchants are just really nice to have. Let's just pack more immediately. I am not... I am not trying to forget. Okay. I'm really not trying to forget. Oh, wait. Shoot. Gotta use the shrine. My bad. Ah, uh, see? I, uh... I don't forget one thing, I forget another. It's just how it works. Don't judge me, guys. Okay? I'm trying. I'm trying my best. <sighs> okay, air shrine. <laughs> now we'll do the air shrine after so long. After so, so long. It's like right around here, I swear. They don't really leave you a lot of room to walk here, though. Sneak past these blade masters. There it is. Mistwood. Alright, cool. And this is the final shrine. And then after this, I think we just need to summon a guy. And then, like, defeat you shame the Plagoni. By appearing in front of me. Okay, this actually has a boss in it. That's fine. I'm not any more worried than I would be if there were mobs. And I got enchants, so double not worried. <laughs> okay, I thought that was a tower for a second, but then I realized he was fire, so we're fine. We are all good. That guy can still... Actually, they could both still weakness me, so I gotta be careful. Alright, cool. And we got our rat spin up. That is what I like to see. Alright, cool. Die. Alright, it's been fun, but uh, I think I've had... I've had enough diseased goats for one day. You guys can, uh, you guys can fuck off now. Seriously. Almost 2k. Dang. The Plagoni is not going to stand a chance against my brawn. Alright. Foot wraps of charity. That's a good meme. Alright, so, Wavebringer now. Yep. See, this is why you leave marks, kids. This is why you leave marks. Should be right in here. There he is. You will sleep soundly when I am done with you. Mmm. I like your voice, man. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. Still gotta murder you, though. Okay, so take away the Seraphs. Why do I even pack- Like, why do I even pack half these cards that I just don't use? I don't know, dude. I guess it's more of a just-in-case thing, but... Which is why I should probably leave them in. Just, like, for something to fall back on. Alright, I just need to pull, like, a feint, and then that's- that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's really it. Let's discard that, and that as well. I can always double AoE. Like, I'm fine with doing that. Alright, boys. What do we got? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine.
Once again, nuts to the face. You guys know how it goes. That's just uh, the life that I'm living in this game, I suppose. This AoE, dude. Oh, ever since I got it from that pack. Legendary. Are they both dead? Oh my god, that's that's sexy. That's amazing. Okay. That's cool. Well, hold on, what? Okay, so I'm level... Here, let me just get full health before we actually go in to defeat the Oni. So, I want to actually equip that jewel, though. That 2% accuracy jewel. Temporarily, because, like, it might help a little bit. I think it's for level 35. I could check, but, like, I'm not gonna... Okay. Anyways, Plague Oni. You should be in here somewhere. If my game will load. Please? What's happening? I'm getting worried. I'm succumbing to that cow's entrancing stare. Will you load for me, please? This is the final boss. It would really suck if you stopped loading, like, completely right now. Anyways, I'll see you guys if this ever finishes. <laughs> breaking your spirit will give me more pleasure than breaking your wand. Anyways, there's this pig trying to seduce me. I don't really know what's going on. But, uh, it eventually loaded, thank god. This dungeon's, like, kind of annoying to do, so if that... If that would have, like, crashed my game, I would have been very sad. <laughs> I would have been very sad because then that would have meant that I'd have to do this whole thing over again. And I'm not okay with that. I really, really don't want to do that. This is just the last thing that I want to do. Alright, so he's going to give me that blade. And then... Oh, wait, you tower shielded, that's right. <sighs> okay, take rid get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think I'm just trying to finish off the minion right now. We're going to do that. And take off that shield. Alright, so that'll take that off. Very nice. I don't know why. This dungeon, I feel like I did it really fast. <laughs> like, I feel like usually this takes me like an hour on other wizards. And I'm on the life school, so... This doesn't really make much sense. But I ain't complaining, dude. Alright, cool. So that got him down a little bit. What sucks is for life, I don't have like a huge hit. Like a very big hit that I could do. Like this is like, like Seraph is my strongest hit. And like that's kind of sad when you think about it. Like of course I've got a lot of good AoEs, but like no actual solid hits. Kind of sucks, man. Also, thanks for that mantle. Appreciate it. Faint! That will help. That will help immensely. I should not have drawn a TC there. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, he see? Heavy hitter, dude. Look at this thing. What a beast. No, but actually, though, like, I can't wait till I get Centaur. Because that's, like, actually a big... Like, that actually does good damage, you know? Ow, that was some decent damage. Good job, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pigman. Alright, so you're dead. And then your demon form's gonna come out now. If I'm not mistaken. Just like it does with all the other Onis. Defeated. Ideoshi crumples to the ground and fades. Mm -hmm. A demon emerges from his still form. It is the Plague Oni. There's our guy. All right, bud. Purify the water or else. That's literally just this whole area. That's that's all it is. <laughs> okay. So take that out to take that out. Um I only need one faint really. I'm not too worried. They nerfed this guy's health too. They've just nerfed everything in the game. It's easy now. Not even a challenge for an expert life wizard such as I. You can elemental shield all you want. It's not going to help you. You're not even delaying the inevitable. You're just playing like an idiot. I am clearly the life school. It's written all over my gear. What are you doing? Oh, you gonna weakness me now? <laughs> I mean, they did say he was weakened, so I can't say I'm surprised, I guess?
All right, cool. Did I mention I got over 2k health now too? Yeah. I know, I am just an expert at this game. I realize. You guys keep reminding me in the comments. I, I tell you guys to stop with the compliments, really. Because I'm just well aware of how good I am. But you guys keep them coming. Very unnecessary. Okay, there you go. Decent move, man. Decent move. I swear to god, sometimes I treat these battles like it's PvP <laughs> or something. <laughs> like, he's playing stupid. Like, dude, it's a fucking... It's fucking AI. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying sometimes. There we go. And he's still dead. Give me your one, please. Be much appreciated. Darn it. I will get that wand one day. You know what? Can I pop the chest? Ooh, free chest. Darn. Four ah yes, 14 myth resist. My favorite. Okay. Back to Sun Hing. How wait, how um how far will this teleport me? Or where will this teleport me? Oh! Oh, that was actually kinda nice. Right outside the dungeon. I'll take that, dude. I will take that for sure. Wizard, we are most grateful to you for defeating the plague, Oni. You're welcome, bud. Merciful Muda, I never thought that water would be pure again. I feel like I need a serious vacation. Who knew the life of a monk oh. would be so stressful? Oh man, eight percent power pip for f okay. Like that might sound like that might sound like a stupid idea, but eight percent power. I love those power pips, man. Please bring this vial of pure water to the high monk Tan King within the Jade Palace. As for me. I shall ponder my life's direction. That's a fucking mood, Sun Hing. But seriously, wait, 8%? That is so tempting. I am almost level 35. That's hype. Oh my god. Wait, I think I actually have like a level... A level 33 spell that I need to learn. It might be Sanctuary. Or maybe it is Centaur. No, wait, I think it's Sanctuary. Which like, you know... Useful sometimes. Not really gonna be useful for the majority of the walkthrough, but you know... Ah, a vial of pure water. It was a mistake to assume the waters would remain pure while his imperial majesty is ill. Thank you, wizard. 35! We have what we need to cure his imperial majesty's mind and spirit. But to heal his body, we will require fruit from the mystical tree of life. Mm. Just like the Oni possessed warlord Katsumori and polluted the waters of Mushu, the death Oni has twisted the tree of life. Even with all my wisdom, I can't prepare you for what you will face. And that's the last area. I urge you to speak with Samurai Hideo Kebo, a regarded elder at Yoshihito Temple. He will be able to guide you to the Tree of Life. May the Muda watch over you. Wow, that was incredible, Tan King. Thank you very much. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end off this episode here. I really hope you guys did enjoy, though. Definitely made some decent progress in Mushu. Finished off the Plague Oni area of the storyline. And then we are going to go into Yoshihito Temple for the next episode to continue the quest line where we are going to eventually work our way up to defeating the Death Oni, purifying the Emperor, and saving all of Mushu. So that is going to be all from me, everyone. I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, you can always leave a like or subscribe. It is very much appreciated. We just hit 7k subs, actually, uh, by the time I'm recording this, so thank you guys so much. That is honestly crazy, and I never thought that would happen. So thank you guys so much for just supporting me in any way you can, and I do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode, but that's going to be all for me, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video or stream, whenever that may be, so take care, and peace out, guys.